What makes Indonesian food so unique and exciting? We found the Indonesian cuisine to be one of the most vibrant and colorful in the world, full of intense flavors. One of the reasons every dish is flavorsome is because of the multitude of fresh herbs and spices used. There is a reason why it was nicknamed the Spice Islands in the 1500s. Nasi Goreng Indonesian fried rice nasi goreng is a popular Indonesian staple, kind of like what pad thai is to Thailand. Nasi means rice and goreng means fried, so it's basically just the Indonesian version of fried rice. It's so well known and loved that it's one of five national dishes of Indonesia. This meal was originally created as a way to avoid throwing away leftover rice, as frying already cooked rice prevents bacteria from growing which could make you sick. It's traditionally served for breakfast in Indonesia, as it would be made from the leftovers from dinner the night before, with maybe some fresh vegetables or egg added in. Nasi Kampar, the national dish Nasi Kampar is said to be the national dish, and is certainly one of the best traditional foods of Indonesia that we tried. The name means mixed rice, and it is literally that, rice served with a variety of local dishes, like chicken satay, grilled chicken, beef rindang, vegetables, salad, and prawn crackers, which can then be mixed together. Chicken satay, barbecued yamina sticks of chicken satay barbecued in the streets are a quick, cheap, and very tasty Indonesian treat. This is a predominantly Muslim influenced country, so they will mostly be serving chicken or beef. If you want to try pork satay, your best bet will be to head to a Chinese restaurant. A Royal Ridge Stifel meal, influenced by the Dutch The Royal Ridge Stifel is a Balinese tradition dating back to the Dutch colonial era of the 19th century. It literally translates as rice on the table. To this day, a Ridge Stifel is hugely popular in the Netherlands particularly in Indonesian restaurants in big cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague. Gado Gado, the Indonesian mega salad. Gado Gado is an Indonesian salad comprising of vegetables in a spicy peanut sauce, often served with fried tofu and tempeh, boiled potato, and a hard boiled egg. Tempeh kekup, fried fermented soya beans tempeh is great stuff for vegetarians who still want a good protein source. It is made from fermented soybeans and originates from Java, one of the largest islands of the Indonesian archipelago. It has a higher content of protein, fiber, and vitamins compared to just eating soybeans by themselves. Say Europe, coconut Javanese salad Indonesian Say Europe is a blanched vegetable based salad with a shredded coconut dressing. Say means vegetable, so Say Europe means mixing any blanched vegetables with spices and grated coconut until it is well blended. It can be served as a main or as a side salad. Perkadal Jagung Deep fried corn cookies Indonesian perkadal jagan are deep fried corn cookies, usually eaten for special occasions such as the birth of a baby or a wedding. They are also a popular street food throughout the country and another whim for vegetarians. Similarly to peanuts, corn was brought to Indonesia during the 16th century by Spanish and Portuguese traders who had been to the Americas. Just like peanuts, corn plants thrived in Indonesia and quickly became a staple food, since they required much less water to grow than rice. Tahu goreng kekup, fried tofu in sweet soy sauce Tahu goreng kekup is another win for both vegetarians and vegans. And it's good. In short, this is tofu, tahu, which is fried, goreng, and cooked with a sweet soy sauce, kekup. It is a popular street food snack, usually served on a bed of veggies like bean sprouts, tomatoes and cabbage, and of course, the ubiquitous portion of rice.